Today, I'm going to show you why Veed Fabric 1.0 is a better alternative to VO3. For starters, I'm not real. Well, my voice is and my expressions are. Let me explain. That entire intro? It was created with just one photo and one voiceover. So hypothetically, if I didn't want to sit on camera, I wouldn't have to. Veed Fabric 1.0 can turn a single photo into a talking lip synced video with your own voice. Now that's something VO3 just can't do. So let me show you how I did it. I'm on Veed and I'm going to click the Veed Fabric 1.0 banner and that's going to take us into the editor. Now we're going to click add character. And if you don't want to use your own image here, you could use one of Veed's images or you can generate an AI image by typing in a prompt here. Or lastly, you could use Nano Banana here and you can create a cartoon you, a superhero you, you can create whatever it is that you like. I actually do wanna use my own image, so I'm gonna click upload and upload files, select that image and let it upload. Next, we need to give our character a voice. So you can type in your character's script and choose the language and the voice. You can record live or you can upload a pre-recorded track. Now, why? Because your voice is your identity, it's gonna keep your content authentic. VO3, it can generate clips, but they're not actually you. Fabric makes sure that your content stays yours. So I'm gonna select that, I'm gonna upload my voice and hit add speech. Now, lastly, I'm gonna click generate and in a few seconds, I've got my talking image synced with my voice. Today, I'm gonna to show you why Veed Fabric 1.0 is a better alternative to VO3. See the difference? Fabric makes sure that my content stays original and is connected to my identity, but we can improve it. Let's add a second camera angle here for a more dynamic setup. I actually took a side-on photo of me in the same position, and I'm just gonna repeat the same process here by adding my photo and my speech. So can you see how it makes my tutorial feel cinematic and it keeps my viewers engaged, and it also gives me some flexibility in storytelling. Now to take it up to the next level again and make it look even more polished, I'm gonna add a lower third to introduce myself. So super quick, I'm gonna click text, then I can choose a pre-made template, adjust the text, resize and reposition it. And and of course, we need to add subtitles. Why? Because most people silently scroll social media without any audio. If your video doesn't have subtitles, for those silent watchers, it doesn't really have any context, which in turn means that you have just lost a potential viewer and a potential follower. So to add captions, we're gonna click on subtitles in the toolbar. We wanna make sure we select the full project, then choose the spoken language and click auto subtitle in English. Now, before we style our subtitles, let's just make sure they're all correct. And watch your video all the way through just to check for any words that the AI might have gotten wrong. And if you do actually spot any mistakes, just click on the word that's wrong, delete it, and then type in the correct word. It's that easy. Now we can click on style and we can choose from any of these pre-made ones. And if you wanna tweak them even further, just click on the edit button and then you can play around with things like the size, the animation, the position, etc. Finally, a touch of background music here is gonna set the mood and it's gonna add a little ambience. So Veed has a built-in library. It's super quick and it's all copyright safe. And small touches like this, it just makes your content feel professional without actually stealing the focus. Now you can search for whatever it is you're looking for in stock music, click play to hear a demo, and then click the plus sign to add it to your video. We're gonna trim that track so that it ends in time with the video. And don't forget to adjust the volume here so that it doesn't overpower our dialogue. All right, I think this is good to go, so we're gonna export it. Click done in the top right, choose your settings. I actually usually go for HD, but you do you. Make sure subtitles are turned on and then click export. Now we can watch the final outcome. Today, I'm gonna show you why Veed Fabric 1.0 is a better alternative to VO3. For starters, I'm not real. Well, my voice is and my expressions are, so let me explain. And there you have it. Veed Fabric 1.0 keeps your voice, your style, and your originality front and center. That's just something VO3 can't do. Now, if you do wanna watch more AI hacks to stay ahead of the curb, you can check out this video right here, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.